it's me again. I'm going to show you Icon Art. So here's the download page. Just type in Google Free Icon Art Download, and it should be right there. This is what I used. Yeah, right here. And here it is. Oops, wrong way. Here it is, the download to Icon Art, and it's Brothersoft, so it's pretty reliable. It doesn't have anything bad to it. Um, it's really simple. So, here's what the site looks like. I can give you a feel to it. And so here it is right here, and it's not even a megabyte seriously look so download it and you will be very happy in making your very own cursors it's 2009 so it's pretty good and you don't have to buy it trust me it works with these programs and there are no special requirements so I'll show you what it looks like alright so this is what it actually looks like And make sure you always have your shortcut to mouse. Because I always use shortcut to mouse, and it's very, very helpful. Alright, so here is Icon Art. Alright, so that's what it is. I'll show you your basic tools, and these are what they look like right here. Obviously, that's what you use to draw, and this is for this one right here is for doing straight lines. This is obviously an um, empty square, and you choose a color, and it'll fill the square up with that color, and it'll make a square. Same basic principle with both of these, and it'll just fill it up. Also, same with this, if you choose an empty one, and you can just like fill it in with that, and that's just your basic spray paint. So, I'll make a pretty quick and easy cursor. I shall use the tools. There's that doing its magic. And you can do like multiple designs. Remember this, whatever the mask color is, um, that's basically your eraser and it won't show up on anything you draw. See right here, this is the mask right here. It'll say mask and there'll be an arrow. So yeah, and um, yeah, that's basically it. So, to fill it up you can use this and I'll fill it up with blue. And same thing, you can draw on it with another color. And I'll, this is the eraser right here, as I like to call it. This is the erase color right here. Alright, so I'm going to erase this. Anything that's black up here is going is not going to show up. So right there, it's not going to show up. And But the white is going to. So the hot spot, that's where it's going to click. So you want to be at the very tip. Usually it's going that way, so yeah. And I will show you one of my animations that I did. And there it is. What I did, I did a frame by frame. I drew the ghost and them swerveling around it. And lightning coming out of the tip. So this is what it looks like on Icon Arp. This isn't really what it's going to look like. It looks like that. It's pretty hard to see, but it's it's pretty simple. This is just basically it. That's basically it. So um, I'll show you what it looks like for real. Where am I? I not remember. Here we go. All right. So here's my shortcut to mouse pointers and. So here we go. This is what it looks like. Right there. Right here in this box. 
that's what it looks like. So yeah. There you go. Alright, and that's basically it. If you have any questions, I will answer and I will show how to make an animation. What you want to do is start off with your basic figure. Make it sh make sure it's normal. It's, it has nothing else to it that you don't want. So, it's you, you right here, you can right click it and that will do it. You just press undo. Keep on doing that until you have enough frames for your animation. And see what I did with the cyan sword is I did this. I did right here. So I start off with the normal sword. I kept on copy pasting, copy pasting. Not really copy, but you know what I mean. And I just add colors into it. And eventually I made it go up. And then after that I just added some lightning. Make sure it's always moving like I did. And make it like bigger over time. So yeah. It's your simple animation. Just go to preview animation, see if you like it, and there you have it. So that's icon art for you, and that's it. Have fun icon arting, I guess. Later. <laughs>